In this video, I'll show you how to create a suspension incident in PowerSchool. First, you'll want to head to the Incident screen. From the Start page, click Special Functions, and then Incident Management. You can edit an existing incident by clicking on its title or its ID number, but to create a new one, you'll need to click the Create New Incident button. For the incident type, select ONSYS Discipline. The incident date field defaults to the current date and time, but make sure that the field reflects the actual date and time of the incident. Your ONSA submission will be unsuccessful if the date in this field is on or after the beginning of the suspension. The title field displays on the summary screen that lists all incidents. Enter the student's last name, comma, first initial, followed by the student number. Enter a description of the incident in the description field. Do not use names in this area. Select the location using the drop down menu, and then select it again in the new drop down box that opens up next to it. Make sure to fill both boxes in, or the letter won't generate properly and your ONSA submission will be unsuccessful. The text in the principal's recommendation on letter field appears on the suspension letter as the principal's recommendation. There's only room for 255 characters in this field, so don't make the message too long or you'll get an error when you try to save the incident. The principal's name will appear on the letter exactly as it's typed here, so watch out for typos. The financial impact field is optional. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and click Submit Incident. This will save the record, but you're not finished yet. Select the incident again to add participants. Scroll down, click the green plus sign next to participants, type in the last name of the student you're looking for, and click search. Select the student from the list of results and click add. Select offender in the drop down below roles and click add participant attributes. Do not add victims, reporters, or witnesses to the incident report, as these records stay with students and staff as they change schools within the board. All data in the incident is then accessible at the new school, even when the offender has not changed schools. Next, you need to add incident attributes. Click the green plus sign next to incident elements. An action must be added to each offender in the incident. There are no objects configured in PowerSchool, so don't worry about that one. Each offender must have at least one behavior attached to them. If there are multiple behaviors for one offender, flag one of them as the primary behavior. You only need to add an attribute for incidents that are reported to the police, are violent incidents, or both. We'll start out by adding an action. Under Action Code, choose On This Suspension and choose Principal in the menu that appears below. Enter the start and end dates of the suspension under Action Date Range. The Action Taken Detail field is optional, but you can use it to track parental contact information. The Actual Resolution Date field is optional as well. Under Duration Code, you must select Days, and then days again. Next, you'll need to enter the number of suspension days in both the assigned duration and the actual duration. Both of these fields are mandatory. The duration notes field is optional. If you need to change the action at a later date, you can keep track of changes using the action change reason field. The Action Attribute section should not be completed for suspensions lasting five days or less, so it will not be covered in this video. If you're inputting a suspension of six days or more, please click on the letter I in the top right corner of this video for a link to that information. Click Add Action to complete this form. Next, you'll want to add the behavior. Click the green plus sign and click Add Behavior. On the screen that opens up, select ONSA Suspension under Behavior Code 
and the appropriate subcode. Only check the primary behavior box if you will be adding more than one behavior. Click Add Behavior to Submit. If the incident has been reported to the police or the incident is a violent incident, you'll need to add an attribute. Check the ONSYS reported to police or, or the violent incident box and click Add Attributes. Please refer to the Policies section on the Safe Schools website for information on what makes a violent incident. Once the action and behaviors are completed, they need to be dragged and dropped directly onto the offender's name. You must drag the action first, and then the behavior second. If you forget this step, the suspension letter will not generate properly, and your ONSA submission will be unsuccessful. The incident is finished once you have entered all of the information, and the offender has an action and relevant behaviors attached. Click Submit Incident to complete. To print a suspension letter, you'll first want to note the incident ID number found on the incident management screen. I'm going to copy this one to my clipboard. Next, select Report Works on the left. Select the appropriate suspension report and enter the incident ID. Click Submit to generate the report and wait for it to finish generating before you open it up and print it.